is day two post-op. Um, I had an okay time sleeping. Um, it's just really hard to move in general. Um, so I wasn't able to like fully get comfortable enough to like sleep for more than like a few hours. But overall, um, my pain is okay. They've been, um, the nurses have been really good about coming and giving me my meds. So um, I've been able to stay on top of the pain. Um, they did bring me some breakfast. I have some scrambled eggs and papaya, I believe, as well as some green tea. And I was so hungry last night, you guys. Like the dinner that I had, that soup, did not fill me up at all. I actually like rang the nurse at like 3 a.m. and I was like, do you guys have any snacks? And she's like, oh, all we have is like apples. And so I just had an apple as a little midnight snack. But that breakfast looks really, really good. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, the portions are a little small for the food. But, you know, I'm going to try to eat all of it that way get nice and full and get my energy for the day because I'm I think I'm gonna try to take a shower with the nurse's help or at least like a body wash I could just put my hair up in a, in a ponytail and try to attempt to take a body wash um also I got my period which sucks but they were nice enough to um ring the pharmacy and they brought me some tampax um which I had to pay for but you know it is what it is. I also brought my period panties because I had a feeling I was going to get my period. So I have those as well. Um, yeah, no, mostly the pain is just from like getting up, uh, walking around. Like I get winded really easily. Like just walking from my chair to the bathroom and then getting up and coming back is like the hardest thing. I don't know why it's like winding me. Well, probably like from the surgery, like you lose a little bit of blood. So um, yeah, but I'm gonna have my breakfast and then I'll check in with you guys in a bit. I'm finishing up my scrambled eggs. I have some green tea. And this is that movie I was telling you guys about last night. I was watching. So something that I have been kind of struggling with is um, just being out here by myself and not uh, being with my son is like just feeling guilty for, you know, having this experience of recovery and even doing the surgery itself. I just feel like I have been feeling a little bit guilty, like because his dad's watching him this whole time by himself. And I don't know, it's just like, but I just have to remind myself that I've been watching my son for so long by myself with no help. I mean, my mom would help sometimes, but there have been days where I have been working from home and cleaning and cooking and meal prepping and watching the baby at the same time. So like, I really deserve this. Like I shouldn't feel bad about wanting to, to do something for myself. Like this is for me and I shouldn't feel bad about that. Like it's just gonna be like a few weeks and I'm gonna be going home next week. So I'll have a chance to see my baby, my baby boy. So I think it's just like missing him and being in this room, you know, but all to myself and like, having people wait on me hand and foot is just really nice as a mom because you're just so used to like giving and giving and taking care of others before yourself so i think that's where that guilt is coming from but just wanted to kind of mention it because i feel like that's part of like the mommy makeover process is like putting yourself first and that can be really hard for moms but yeah that's my little rant Okay y'all, so I finished my breakfast and the nurse came by and she um, administered a anticoagulation injection. It burned a little bit, but it was fine. And she said basically that um, it will help when, um, it will help with preventing blood clots. So that's definitely um, important. And she also let me know that 
uh, there's, uh, they can do a lymphatic massage on me for $50. Um, so I feel like that's going to speed up the healing a lot. So I opted in for that massage, the lymphatic drainage massage. So they're going to do that one on me and then I'm going to take a shower <clears throat> and then they're going to put on my faha. So that's a quick little update. So I'll check in you guys with you guys after I'm all done with that. Okay, so it's day two post-op and I'm eating my lunch. They brought me my lunch. Let me lift myself up. Like, I, I am like relying on this motorized chair to get me up because my ab muscles are like so weak right now. So the nurse just did the lymphatic drainage massage. You can see there's a lot of like leakage so she did my back and then she did my arms and my stomach and I could actually see in the drains like all the fluid draining into the drains. It was actually cr really crazy. Um, but yeah, so I'm all done with that. Tú enséñame inglés y yo te enseño español. <risa> Dame chance, ¿eh? Ahorita te ayudo. 
Okay, so I took my shower. I got my faha on. There's the drains. I feel clean and so fresh. And um, yeah, it's like almost nighttime now. So I'm gonna eat my little snack that they brought. It's like a little rice cake with fruit. Um, the nurse is so nice. She braided my hair after she washed my hair because uh, I couldn't find my comb. And they cleaned the room, so it's all clean. And yeah, I'm having a great time. Oh my God, I'm so exhausted. I literally spent the last 10 minutes trying to go from the bed to the recliner chair. I'm like so winded, dude. I got stuck on the bed, like literally, like I couldn't get up. I felt like a turtle on its back. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the chair because it's just a lot easier to get like in and out. Like if I need to get up, it does most of the work for me. But in the bed, it's just like, I have to hoist myself up and it's like really exhausting. So I recommend if you guys have the option of having like a, a recliner, electric recliner, definitely sleep. Just stay in the recliner. Don't even try the bed because the bed will do you dirty. Oh my gosh.